Good morning everyone. It's Sunday morning and it is 11.30 and I am going to do something totally different. Uh, first off, as you can see I built a box on the, uh, on the canvas. See that? This is Yupo, so it's going to be uh, waterproof. This is waterproof tape and I put it in the middle of the canvas because we're going to try to create what I did I'll show you how it dried that's how it dried it's kind of kind of cute see that but we're going to try to recreate this on the canvas but with more negative space that's the experiment and I got a lot of paint so we're going to try a couple of times and there's no torching, Anne-Marie, no torching at all. Okay. I guess you are saying, yeah, right, you are not torching. No, I'm not going to torch this one. So first I want to do the updated sponsor list because I love you all to pieces. There you go. This is uh, August 2017. So you could always put it on pause if you want to check if you're there and if you are one of my sponsors and you're not on the list please slip me an email even though you most of you say oh we don't want anything in return please email me because i do want you on the list right okay thank you for that now another thing i did i bought some silicone see that big silicone sheet so i will be um using this well not with this one because i'm expecting oh, the only thing that's going to pour off here is white but i could maybe then i could do a, a few colors and do some swipes yeah i could do that so this is silicone sheet on one side it has a little structure in it but on the other side it's totally flat and i bought three of these because they are so cheap um i just uh, was in in the shop and i just saw them uh, laying there i thought wow what's that the good thing is that these sheets, as you can see down here, it says the maximum is 230 degrees uh, Celsius and minus 40 Celsius. So you can even torch this, no problem whatsoever. Um, if the uh, European people want me to put this in the, uh, in the shop, Please slip me a little comment below and say, yes, Anne-Marie, please put that in your shop because I want one of those. Okay? Okay. Now, um, let's put one underneath. Just because we can. And it might even help with the cleanup because usually I uh, take off the plastic. Another thing I want to address is um, I'm getting a lot of questions and it's taking me a lot of time to um, to answer them. You know, um, just people saying, oh, I love it and it's cool and I'm going to do it and blah, blah, blah. That's okay. But I get some really uh, in-depth que questions and I can't really, it's, it takes up too much of my time. I wanted to start painting this morning at around 9, 9.30. But I had so many things to answer that I couldn't, you know, get get ready in time. So um, I have the basic list. I made a, a whole playlist of the basics. There's everything in there about the paint, about the mixing, about the torch, about everything you can imagine. The silicone. Then I did another playlist of the varnishing. How to clean it, what I use, how to do it with a brush. Um, kind of like everything I know about varnishing. So if you have that those type of questions, please go to the playlists and download the playlist. That'd be much easier for me. Gives me more time to paint. Makes everyone very happy. Oh, and the people complaining about my head. <clears throat> Sometimes my head is in the video, yes. And that's the charm of my channel because then you get to see my beautiful, beautiful red hair. I'm not going to change it anytime soon. Ah, oh boy. Now, the thing is what I'm going to do. Um, when my studio is ready, uh, the first thing I'm going to invest in is a, um, is a whole studio thing. Like, I'm going to buy a 
I think, oh, maybe you guys can help me. Oh, yeah, I need a lot of help. <laughs> okay, I was thinking of videoing with a video camera. Connecting the camera to a monitor so that I can see what I'm videoing, because that's important. That's why I have my iPad up here, because now I can see that my finger is here. I can do, um, like, click on the, on the screen to make it in focus. Because sometimes when I do this and it's this gets in focus here, see that in focus. Now it's not in focus. Then I click on the screen, then it goes back to focus. But if I had a video camera hooked up to a monitor, I could see it and then I could zoom in and do stuff. So if that's a good idea, please leave it in the comments. I'd like to know your thoughts about it, especially people that have um, enough experience with uh, doing good videos. I am going to buy those big, big umbrella type lights, you know, which has those white things in front of them so that you don't have the glare in the painting. That's what I'm going to buy the first thing I move into my studio. Then another thing I really need some help with. Um, I want to start doing jewelry because I really want to. I have that feeling inside that I want to do jewelry. Now. This is um, a swipe I did. Let me get you up close. Now, there are some beautiful parts in this swipe. Like this part here I'd love, this one I'd love, and I'd like an oval punch, but I cannot find one. And it has to be a special size. It has to be 25 millimeters by 18 millimeters oval, or 30 millimeters by 40 millimeters oval. So if anyone can find me one online, I'd be eternally grateful because I really, I'm not going to cut this out. That's, that's usually is really crappy because you can see that someone cuts it out. And then there was another thought I had. You have these cutting machines where you buy the dies. I think they call them a dies and you put them under a like a big shot I've heard or silhouette would that be a better choice could I then make more sizes let me know I am totally and I, I know nothing about that stuff <coughs> the scrapbooking uh, thing so if you guys know about those cutting machines please let me know if that's something that would help me out with uh, the jewelry making let me put down my plastic again because it's curling up okay I'm a little bit nervous about this but what I want to do is I have my syringes I'm gonna pour this um, I'm gonna put the white in here then I'm gonna take syringes and I'm going to uh, I'll show you the colors those are the colors it's all Vallejo and it's all mixed with Floetrol and 16 drops of silicone in 8 ounces Floetrol. I added a little bit of uh, polymer medium, just a little bit. <coughs> I have to get something to drink because... <coughs> Let's get something to drink. Okay, we're ready. Now, just uh, let's just do this. Maybe, you know, we should just do a lot of white. See, that's this is what I was expecting. This is way too much white, so I had to make. You have to make this smaller because I wanted the white much deeper. Now I have to put all my white in here. It's all going to spill out. But now I see when I look at it. I think it's about one centimeter of paint. That's not enough. So, if you want to do this, recreate this, what you have to do is make this smaller, like that. Then you get the uh, deeper white. Now, let's clean off this one. We're going to start with turquoise. And when you fill a syringe, you always have to, you know, give it time to fill. You can't just pull it up because these needles are uh, too thin for that. 
There's something in there. Okay. Now I have three millimeters, milliliters. Uh oh, bubbles. You don't want bubbles because then it's going to come to the top. Oh boy. Okay, next one. That nice orange. I'm going to fold it anyway. That's that one. Ow, stuck myself with that needle. There's not a point on it though. But it still hurts. Yeah, I got blood. Oops. Okay, next color. That's that one. Nice purpley color. Let's put some in there. Yep, there is air in there again. Which color don't we have? Uh, let's see, yellow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, I'm missing one. The green, oh, the other blue. I think it might be too much paint but who knows okay now before we can do this I have to get some more white over there and I know that there's no paint there so we're gonna pull it over and pull it over that's enough and now comes the experiment. I've got to get something really sharp. Well, not really sharp, but kind of sharp. I hope it doesn't seep out before I'm ready. That's that. And now I've got it stuck on my gloves. <laughs> I feel like a mad scientist. Okay, here we go, holding it down, there we are. Not really liking it. <clears throat> now what we can do is fold it back over. Or not. <laughs> I do like this, what's happening here. <clears throat> Let's see if we just tilt it a little bit, what pops up. Letting it all come off. There we go. Now just let it do its thing a little bit. I do have to uh, torch it a little bit. Uh, I wasn't gonna torch, see? But I see a lot of um, I see a lot of air bubbles. And I'm doing it real fast, so. Now 
Well, it is coming to the top, but it's not what I expected. Kind of, but ugly too. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to swipe it. I know you guys are gonna say no don't do that don't swipe it I like it but I don't I don't like that splotch there I don't like this what's happening here hmm what I could do first let's see if this works oh it does this is this is ugly people come on let's let's be real here we don't like this so we can say experiment is pretty stupid oops and way down i can always use this for a background that'd be cool let me do the signs a little bit oops That's it. Now I'm going to twitch it. And I'm going to think about what I'm going to put on top of this. Okay. Not too happy with it, but I'll um, maybe I'll just wash it off. Now I'm going to uh, do something with this strip off because I have some room to lay this down. See, this is one of those things that I don't like. Um, see here where my finger is. These holes that that because it's silicone you get those holes see how it curls up there yep that's not uh, that's not something I like with these big holes in it mm, I'll keep it you know just to, to show you um, how you can peel it off I hope I'm not sure hope it's the right silicone but I'm gonna keep this thing I'm gonna put it somewhere let's look for a nice little place for this oh, over there there we go we'll just let that one dry okay back to this one I don't know. I don't think I'm in the in the good. I was so expecting this to do something really super cool, and then it didn't. So then I get a little bit out of my uh, my Zen mode. Yeah, I I don't like it. So I got to do something to it. Let's do some nice bright colors here. Nice dark purple, a little bit of turquoise, clean off the palette knife, I would have liked something a, a little bit more rainbowy. But I am glad I didn't do this on a 120 by 40 because that's what I was going to do. I was going to do this one really big 
Am I glad I didn't do it? This might be nice for some uh, lettering, hand lettering on top of it. I think that would look cool. Ooh, I like those cells though. Okay, I will give you a close up of what's happening here because usually we like that. And for the people that want a screenshot, I'm trying to get the glare out as much as I can. And let's see if we can find another little pretty part. I just can't get the whole glare out. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So, um, this was a, a disaster experiment, but if you don't experiment, you don't learn and you don't, well, at least you don't have to waste all that paint building a box and pulling it off and, um, you know, it just doesn't work. So what we're going to do, we're going back to the folding technique. And I also promised you a comparison of silicones and I will do two colors, white and some sort of blue. Well, something really a little dark so you can see the cells uh, really well. And I will be doing that one today too. So please don't forget if you can find a punch or you know anything about those cutting machines. Um, I need uh, ovals 18 millimeters times 25 millimeters, 30 times 40 millimeters. So if anyone knows them, I'd be happy to know where to buy them. Thank you all. See you in a bit. Bye bye.